All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Sorry, that put me in a really awkward spot. I know that was kind of shaky, but that had me in such a position where I was turned over the uh, side of the parking garage there. <laughs> I was hanging over the parking deck. Hopefully, everybody's had a good week so far. Happy Thursday, guys. My wiring is not right. I think it might shake a minute. Redoing some wiring here. I didn't realize it wasn't in place. Anyway, hopefully everybody's doing all right today. I did make some changes to the software over the course of a couple of days. Hopefully sound is a little better and hopefully things look a little better. I do have to monitor things because I turned up some of the settings. Jenna B, Ben Cobbs, John, Colin, Jackie. Welcome in, everybody. I know there's more of you in here. If I missed your messages, please do forgive me. Man, this is a pretty shot of this Southwest. I'm not going to lie. Southwest finally moving. Dang it. Yeah, I made some changes to some of the software. Hopefully sound is better. Hopefully everything else will be better. So we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. Ramona. Let's see. What side is that? Welcome in. Sorry. Like a squirrel. We're getting busy now. <laughs> getting quite a few coming in. Tripod's a little sticky. So it's sunny and about 80 degrees today. You guys were wondering, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Nice weather. Weather is absolutely perfect. Unfortunately though, the heat messes with the tripod making it a little more sticky, if that makes sense, upon initial um, <laughs> movement, and then it's like free moving after that. So stupid. Lady, good afternoon. All right, so this one's coming in from Toronto. This is a charter fly. Delta 757. I feel like my, oh yeah, I guess it was on. I feel like my vibration reduction was doing its job. So you caught Air France. Good. Glad you were able to catch Air France yesterday. Yes, sir. 80 degrees is fantastic. Not going to lie. I could live with weather like this all year. We did miss a Velo watching the 757. Not quite a parallel, but pretty close. Who you getting, lady? You getting a new airline? Or are they up in flights for you?
<laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> UPS MD-11. You should be here for the 757. You think the, the MD-11 is steep? <laughs> the MD-11 the MD doesn't have anything on the uh, 757 UPS. Probably one of the steepest takeoffs I've ever seen. But I think JetBlue still holds... Was it JetBlue or Delta in the A220 that night? We had that big storm. That one still takes the cake. That one was almost straight up. <laughs> Alright, we'll swing back around to the 757 in just a minute. We do have an arrival. BRB, what's happening, sir? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that 757, boy, they don't care. And they don't play. They absolutely do not play around. I feel like something is off tonight with this thing. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Am I a little more shaky? Tripod is not happening. Well, you are slow rolling, dude. This American Airlines is just as slow as he can go. We got a little corporate jet departing back here. All right. So we do have I arrow over here as well. There's our Delta 757. Now I am watching one from, I'm looking for one f from Houston. Now this, okay, so this 757 here is a charter for one of the hockey teams or two of the hockey teams. So that's why it made its way over here. It came from Toronto. So, all right, hold on. Sorry, I know I'm making everybody sick. So you've got, you can just see the top of Avello sitting here. So just next to Avello, we have uh, Lone Star 1 sitting over there. And I don't think Lone Star 1 is going to go out tonight. I don't know what, uh, what happened to it, but uh, it is sitting in an overnight spot.
tripod is so loose on both ends. Darn heat's messed up my tripod already. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. It's bad when I have to store it in my car, that's the problem. All right, Ben, see ya. See you a little while. Infidel, what's happening, sir? Yeah, we're at about 21 degrees Celsius here in RDU. It's a beautiful day. Absolute gorgeous day. All right, let's see. I did like the sticker. Thank you, Daryl. Got it on the back of my computer, as a matter of fact. Now, whether or not that'll last all summer will be to de will be determined because the computer's going to get hot, and it <laughs> we'll see how it works. All right, we're going to keep an eye on this one right now while we don't have anything going on. Do have an E one seventy five out at the end out there. <coughs> moving, but I don't know if he's going to depart anytime soon. We'll see. Got a lot of flights today. 171. That's about how many we had on Sunday. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. Hopefully this evening will be fairly busy. This one was more than likely waiting for a gate, if I had to guess. So we got warmer than you did today, Jackie. <laughs> Two for one there. Are you going up the hill? <coughs> oh, looks like United's headed to the penalty box for a minute. There was one sitting up there a minute ago, too. It left out, but it didn't leave. Where did it go? It must have went and sat uh, to sit down at the end of the runway down there. And I can't see it because it's behind some trees or something.
Let's see, is that where he's going? More than likely. You go right here to the penalty box and wait. And he did, but he's behind the tree. Alright, so we won't see any more of that United there. No, nothing happening over there at the uh, 757. 717 sitting here though waiting. Very nice, Robbie. Very nice. I'd like to be in Cabo. <laughs> I mean, the weather here is fantastic I'm not gonna lie but this truck walking some of our view here Southwest is doing the unthinkable. They're slowly taxiing. <laughs> this is unheard of for Southwest, huh? Daniel, what's happening? This one headed to Bee Wee. All right, Southwest. We'll come back to you in a minute. Oh no, that uh, 717 was sitting there waiting to depart, it looks like. Christy! Good evening. Welcome again. Hey, Sue Major. And another Southwest headed out there. This one taxiing a little bit faster than the one currently on screen. Not much. Getting ready to have a lot of departures here. Two Southwest, American, Delta, and Delta. As soon as Southwest gets out of here, I'm going to reset the camera a minute. Something just does not feel right with it tonight. As far as its stabilization goes. Alright, 
Give me a second. Off. On. Sometimes that's all it takes is a quick reset, but it just doesn't seem like it's as stable as it needs to be. I'll probably be here, um, I'd say till 10, depending. Since we're up here on the parking garage, probably until 10. The other night when we were down on the gravel lot, it was a little harder to be here that late because of the fact that there just wasn't a whole lot happening. So we'll see. Thank you. I worked. I made some changes to so, to the software. I went in and looked at some of the settings, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bump everything up and see what happens. It's not uh, taking its toll on the computer on the CPU. So, but I also made some changes to the uh, kilobits as well to try and give it an even clearer image. Because I I went home and watched a show on my TV after Tuesday and I was not happy at all. And that one's gonna hide behind the uh, fire escape now. Yeah, I was not happy at all with the way the quality was or anything with um, Tuesday's show, so. All right, Christy, thank you for stopping in. Have a good evening. Nope, no plus ones on moderators today, Sima. We are down a moderator today for a little while, I think. Molly's running late. She has an event tonight, so she's... I don't even know if she'll join us. I don't know how late her event last. See you. Make sure both my brakes are off here. Yeah, there we go. It's a little too loose for me. Got the Mantis rolling in, Delta. A friend of mine's wife actually might be on this one or the one from, I don't even know where this one's from. A friend of, uh, the guy I work next to, his wife's coming in from New York and both CRJs are coming in from New York. So I don't know if this is hers. And they're coming in around the same time. I think the other one comes in at um, almost seven. do one more reset give me one second all right me and this tripod are about to fight because it is jerky to this evening for some reason
Yeah, Molly's fine. She's got a, an event. Now, we might have a Carolina Spotlight later um, from the uh, from a Southwest flight coming in from Houston a little later on this evening. I'll have to keep an eye on that flight. I need to find it. Somebody from my wife's work, and she texted her and told her, hey, you know, when you're coming in, make sure you... Uh, have your flashlight up to the window. So let's, let's see. There's one. There it is right there. Coming in from Houston. Arriving in just seven minutes. And then there's one coming in from Austin. So chances are it's going to be too bright and we're not going to be able to see her shine any kind of light. Unfortunately. There we go. I think I got some of the issues with the tripod work down here. Kind of. Yeah, what's happening, sir? And I guess our United is done in the penalty box up there on the hill. That max. That's yeah, probably a max eight. Ten four pip. Thank you. And that one's rolling slow and gonna roll long, looks like. <laughs> oh, I wonder what it, hold on. All right, Delta, sorry. I wanna know what it's like sitting in that little plane with that big plane behind it. <laughs> Are you nervous? <laughs> oh, I've been rainy all day. It, dude, it's been beautiful weather. It's been hard for me to be at work all day. I'm like, uh, can I please leave? They're like, no, absolutely not. Like, man, it's nice out though. Oh. 
hopefully we'll have a good sunset shot this evening. Alright, is there any movement in that delta? 757. No, nothing yet. A lot of general aviation stuff happened today. Seems like. Sweet blueprint. I love that one. So United's still sitting out there waiting. I think the one that I'm waiting on from Houston is up next on the Max 8. So, I don't know what seat she's sitting in. <laughs> wow, well, the people that never show up are here. <laughs> but hopefully, Hopefully we'll catch her light if, as long as she's doing it. Got a little double southwest action. One from Houston and one from Austin. The one from Houston's the one we're after, though. <sighs> Keep messing with this thing all evening. You guys are going to have to tell me if you see see a light. I doubt it will be able to because of the way the sun is hitting it, but we're definitely going to try. Yeah, I don't think I don't see anything. I can't tell. Maybe in the replay later I'll be able to see it. But Thank you, refocus. Oh, 
Oh, they fixed bird beak? That's not cool. That one was my favorite one. They should have left it. Brian Lloyd, what's happening? Sorry, do you have... We do, well, yes and no. No, they don't intersect. We do have one that comes in from the east, east and west. Uh, I think that's 14 or 34 or something. I can't remember, 14, 34, I believe. But it, it's not connected other than a taxiway. Only parallels. Triple Seven is not too far out now, arriving in just four minutes from London Heathrow. Looks like she's arriving a little late. Could be arriving early. I don't know what time it was actually supposed to be here. I, I didn't look this afternoon when I was looking over the flights. Again, I imagine next week they'll change it. Rapid fire. <laughs> well, I do have other moderators, Sima, so behave. My moderators know what I expect. If you get out of line, you get time out, sir.
Got to keep it clean in here, people. No arguing, fussing, religion, sex. You know the routine. are on our side. Still. Never know who's watching our show. We're a family friendly show. Did you get it? Who's wondering what, what month? Tristan, what's happening? All right, triple seven from London. smooth touchdown absolute butter got Tony hanging out with us up here too I doubt he'll want to be on the show but Tony is hanging out with us this evening grabbing some great pictures got to show show Tony something here in a minute too. Hey. Did you get that one? That net jets or whatever that is over there? All right. We'll go back to the 777 in just a minute. Lighting on that side of the airport is amazing. Neela, what's happening?
Tony said, what's up? It's <laughs> exactly what he said. He was like, what's up, Carolina Aviation Peoples? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done that too, Daryl. Watch it over on Big Jet TV, leave, and then it get here. Yeah, been out here when it comes in. It's crazy to think think that you can you can do that. Everett, what is up, sir? Hopefully, I'm not missing any messages. Yes, indeed. What's up, good sir? Looks like it's a little quiet for a minute. Got another Delta coming in from DC. You show up and this party dies. <laughs> then I have to absolutely blame you. Hey, there you go. Oh, I love this one. The beach crab. Yeah, is that the one? It, hold on, I'll tell you if it's the one I think it is. No, it's not the one I thought it was. Cool looking livery, though. Absolutely not. She's, she's not here tonight. She will be later, I think. has a run. I know this long, slow roller here. Y'all are killing me with that. I have no idea. I had a couple of Americans that did that, and I'm like, oh. Of course, the, the, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. Wait on, well, this one won't leave off high enough for me to, to, uh, to get it. Although the
United headed to Newark. There we go. Move my microphone back up here. Neil, I hope you've been doing all right. I haven't been able to sneak in your shows lately. I've been so busy at work. Ugh. It's been a madhouse the last week and a half, two weeks. Well, I was out um, last week. So I did watch your show last week, but this week, man, I got so much going on at work. It's making it very, very difficult to do anything other than <laughs> focus on work. Who's ordering me a pizza? And Uber Eats in it? Eating? Eats in it? Eats? Uber Eats? There's no plural of that, is there? Who's sending me a pizza via Uber Eats? There we go. Sentences are not my friend right now. At least not that one. Very nice, right in front of the sun. Man, that was a fast turnaround. Oh yeah, that's about right. Alaska's only on the ground for about an hour. No, we haven't had any bells yet. Very nice. I, ca I know I caught it on here too. They have the rocket launch this morning. Dang it. I was hoping they would scrub it until this evening. It was supposed to it was supposed to go last night. Huh? What are you doing? Are you taking pictures of Alaska through my through <laughs> That's awesome. Dang. Now what lens is that? That five sixty. That's why I said I need that.
Yeah, John, <laughs> I get it. She'll be, I, I'm not sure what time she'll be, she'll be on, but she'll, uh, she'll be on a little later, I think. Hopefully, hopefully she'll be on a little later. Yep, yeah, there you go. Get my good side. You'll have to send me that so I can put it on the Facebook. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, because you removed the, uh, what's it called? That it's it won't it won't reach it. Alaska won't reach it. That's a nine hundred. Take off late. It'll take off way too late. It won't do it. I'm telling you, it won't. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Uh, Tony's here trying to get a shot of Alaska, and I'm telling him it won't fly in front of the sun. It's gonna, it, it's gonna depart really, really low. Being that it's a 900, it's gonna use about 88% uh, of the runway. <laughs> yeah, he took a really cool picture of me um, just a second ago. I'll get him to. Uh, Send it over and po or post it over on the Facebook page. All right, Alaska Airlines get to move on, headed back to Seattle. Matt Man, what's up? Good evening, welcome in. Nope, it's not gonna do it. I tried to tell him. Shoot, we're gonna lose it before. Yep. <laughs> ah, all right, let's go back over here to Delta for a minute. If he got that shot, I will be, <laughs> I'll be amazed, but I highly doubt it.
So Tony was like, oh, there's smoke over there. It's not. It's dust from the concrete place. The on-property concrete. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that shot of whoever that is flying over. Somebody knows, I'm sure. No, Matt, man, no Molly, not yet. A little later on this evening. As a matter of fact, I keep meaning to check my uh, phone because I heard my phone ring, so she might have. I don't know where this delta is going. All right. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. I'm going to laugh if it leaves after you leave. <laughs> oh, man. Always a pleasure having Tony. All right, let me check my phone here. Let's see. No, oh, 10, uh, we've got 15, okay. Now we may have to change our wireless service before the end of the evening. So if we slow way down or it disconnects or whatever, just refresh and come back. I got an alert on my phone stating I'm at 10% on our data, which is fine. So if we do have issues, just uh, just bear with me and I'll switch connections. It's not a big deal to switch connections. It takes about 30 seconds or so. And as you guys know, it is the slow time. See what's happening. Yeah, we don't. We've got another 757 coming in in just nine minutes. Coming in from Atlanta. Got one that's not on flight radar, getting ready to come in. But I think that's General Abe. But if you guys are here for the sunset and golden hour, well, it's about to get really pretty. <laughs> Neela, Molly had a had an event at school today, so she should be joining us later. Not exactly sure when and how long, how how much later, but uh, I think the, her event started at six six or six thirty, and uh, it's now seven o eight p.m. here. Hmm, that was the E-175. That one's not on flight radar. Not that I saw, anyway. Is it? Nope. Alright. Gotta turn my filters off to figure out what that is. Came from Nashville, but it's not given any flight information. So it's probably just a scheduled flight with no... 
no information. Now it's popping up RDU, but it says it still says unavailable underneath it for flight time and stuff. Which is word. What's up, Brianna? Today was very long. Yesterday and today were both long. <laughs> Yesterday was probably one of the busiest days I've had at work in a very long time. I was exhausted when I got home. Absolutely wore out. Good thing I did not schedule a show yesterday because I would have been here and just been like, oh, yeah, this plane right here. Yep, that one. Oh, there. All right, you guys watch it. <laughs> I just would not have been. I would not have been here. Shoot, I was ready for bed at, like, 7 o'clock last night. I was like, you know what? I should go to bed at 7, but I'm not. I ended up going to bed at, like, 10. But it was literally all I could do to stay awake. All right, we're going to get our first opportunity at Bell's today. One hour into the show here. Although we don't have Molly here to play Bell, so you guys can play amongst yourselves. I know ERB likes to play, Colin, William. The mighty Embraer. <laughs> William's like, I'm ready. Got my headphones on, whatever. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready to kick some butt. Ready to get these, get these fools. Hey, looks like we're going to have a really, really pretty sunset this evening. We'll go to that here in a minute. I don't know how long. It's going to take them forever to get into the gate. <laughs> Oh, boy. This side, I swear. American, and they just take forever. I don't know why they take forever, but they do, boy. It's really hazy here today. I know there's some uh, forest fires in the mountains of western North Carolina. I don't know if that's smoke transferring down here, but I noticed it a little bit yesterday. And then today, it's it's pretty good today pretty bad I did not I couldn't tell when she when she came the sun was the sun was right on the side of the plane so it was like uh, I can't see it all right American since you're not doing anything you're boring me <laughs> Let's move back over here to Southwest, and then we're going to go to the sunset because we are going to have a beautiful Carolina Aviation sunset, sunset, or I should say a beautiful Carolina sunset here this evening. Uh, possibly a moonshot tell you that at of course they did I like I, I'm not a okay we see a lot of the E-175s but I would really like to see the new one I don't know why American won't won't order the new one but um, be really nice if they did
can see that haze there. Janet, good evening. Welcome in. Thank you for joining the show. You catch us at a kind of a slow period. I really wish this Embraer would move already. And I'm sure the people on the ground that's waiting to go by would like him to hurry up as well. <laughs> it's causing quite the traffic jam, but it, it's not... It's not the aircraft's fault, that's for sure. Ground crew are a little slow at getting over there for some reason. It's like they're having mixed feelings about it. Yeah, hopefully we'll get the moon. Uh, in my luck, it's going to come up behind uh, the parking garage here behind the funnel in the middle of our parking garage. <laughs> All right, there we go. Finally, Southwest, get the move on. Yeah, well, I think, uh, I think American, the pilots are waiting for bells too. Finally, they moved into the gate. But so it wasn't really a traffic jam, but these two were waiting for a long, long time. They're still waiting because they're waiting on the jet blast. But enough of that. Are you guys ready for the sunset? camera absolutely does not do that justice by any stretch of the imagination. That is very, very, very beautiful. Now that's C-16. That's why I, can't, I couldn't even hear it. That gate always gives me issues. I can't ever hear it. To the Delta. We'll catch more of that sunset in just a minute. Got our Delta 757 coming in from Atlanta. Now I hear the bell. I couldn't hear it a minute ago. I didn't hear it the entire time until just now. I haven't seen Brad tonight either. I don't know if Brad's working. Just thought of that. So, Janet, over here on the uh, jet bridge or the jetways, they have bells. And every time we hear bells, we all, everybody on the, in the chat's like bells to see who can say bells first. And our moderator Molly started that, that trend when she was on the show. We were gonna stick with the sunset. You guys wanna, wanna watch the sun go down? We do have one, two arrivals. Nothing special though, I don't think. That's weird. 
Got an A321 landing 23 right, and then we have an American, well, this is uh, Republic Airways coming in on 23 left. Interesting. Matt man, they do not. We do not get any of the 757-300s, unfortunately. None of the pencils. Only the 200s. Very nice sunset. As a matter of fact, I'm just standing here watching it and peeking in on you guys on the chat. The uh, the triple seven has arrived already. It touched down at about 6:40, 6:41, somewhere around in there, this evening. So that. What you're hearing in the background now is American Airlines, A321, coming in from Charlotte. Over on 23 left, we do have the American Eagle. or It's an American Eagle, but it's operated by Republic Airways. But it's showing that it's the Republic Airways livery. So I'm wondering if... <laughs> I think um, Flight Radar is having a, having a meltdown or something. Got a glitch. And the sun is almost gone. Last little sliver of it. And there it goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our sun sunset. Something we like to do over here on the show. When the opportunity <laughs> strikes. <laughs> this is that American A321 from Charlotte. I wonder if American e uh, the uh, one Republic Airways will make its way here. No, it's going to go around behind us, isn't it? It's going to... Go on the south taxiway. Don't think it'll loop back around and make its way this way, unfortunately. Good question. When are you back on, Pip? I know you're busy out there picking up uh, dead dead rodents. <laughs> Go back to it because we don't have anything else happening at the moment. No movement. Nothing. Not even on flight radar either because now <laughs> I think flight radar is frozen. All right. We do have Southwest just lighting up. Or was this the one that came in? Southwest 1289. It's going to be heading to Salt Lake City. I really wonder if Lone Star is going to leave, but I think it's hooked up to ground power. I don't believe it's going to leave this evening. Hey, Deborah Ray. How's it going? Hey, Pip, if you find any bats, let me know. <laughs> so that's an interesting little uh, 
kind of a joke there because I found a a bat and I sent <laughs> I sent Pip a picture and I was like, "Would you like some uh, bat jerky?" He's like, "No, that's disgusting." <laughs> Closer. Oh, the moon is directly above my head. I might have to bend way down to get this shot. And I don't have enough tripod. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to give you guys the uh, the moon. We'll get it a little later on this evening, but it it is way above our heads. Almost straight up. There's our E-175. In the actual Republic Airways livery. All right, John, have a good one. Thank you, sir. We will see you on the next one. waiting on one to push back. There's one right here push, <laughs> pushing back. And so that's what he's waiting on. And it sounds like our southwest of St. Louis is getting a, getting a move on over to our left. And we got a Southwest lit up on flight radar as well out there, out at the UPS area. That one is an Airbus A300 headed to Greensboro. Very short, nine minute flight. <laughs> if it's even a nine minute flight. Yeah, we got up to 80 here, thank goodness. <laughs> RDU to Honolulu right now is only 460. That's a lot of money. Is that round trip? You know, I wish we saw the E-175 in more interesting liveries other than just American and Delta. Sometimes United. We get a one, or, one or two Uniteds here, but mostly American. And then, of course, this one lone Republic Airways we get every once in a while. seen the when you're talking about ERB I wish we'd get the e jets over here I think that'd be nice
Yes, sir, Brian. Warmer, longer days. Today it reached about 81 degrees here in Raleigh. Absolute gorgeous day here. I wish I could have been off today. I'd have been here plane spotting all day. <laughs> Maybe give you guys an all day show. <laughs> all right, Southwest. Let's go to Southwest. It's going to be a turn and burn, I think. She's turning and burning. Speaking of, who is this? No, it's an A220. Jet Blue A220. Should have this one right here in front of us, I hope. You guys know how much I love an A220. We gotta get the name on the side of it. Who is it? Something. I can't read it. Hopefully, we'll see that A220 back here. C8. It looks like they're getting ready for it. C10, maybe. Definitely headed this way. Alright, UPS is pushed back. Why does that look weird? Why are, what are you doing? Definitely an interesting place to be on flight radar. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, A220. Hello to you too, A220. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is this one of our FedEx ATRs? It is already. Used to you guys landing in the dark. There's a lot going on now at the moment. Well, that. All right, we're going to wait for the A220 to make its way around here. What did I miss? Missed a lot of y'all's chats today because of the fact that Brian Lloyd gifting one Carolina Aviation membership. Thank you very much, Brian. Great support. As always. Colin Dutton getting that membership, it looks like. See you, John. Have a good night. No, oh, Tristan got it. See, it doesn't tell me on my end. I have to, like, go off of what you guys are saying. <laughs> All right, 
A220, what are you waiting on? I guess they're waiting on people to get in place. They don't know what gate they're going to. I'm confused. Do that. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. No. I still can't read that. Darn it. I was really hoping to catch the A220 back here. Southwest headed back to Houston on a Max 8. I believe that's the Max 8 that came in from Houston that one rolling out but I think we're gonna stick with UPS because it looks like UPS might turn and burn and it is a little hazy out here this evening seems like it's only getting worse as the night goes on All right, this one headed to Greensboro. Short little nine-minute flight. Will it leave like a rocket? Probably early rotation. My shutter speed's matching the uh, the bla the uh, prop. It's looks like, or is it actually? No, it's actually off. They've already shut one engine down. Interesting. I was like, wait a minute, it's not matching the other one. That's weird. They've already shut one engine down. Explains why I don't hear it.
Southwest getting a move on over here on 23 left, headed back to Houston. United making their way back to their eight. I'm not seeing out there. Who is that? Oh, that's an American that went out a minute ago. This is why this spot is so much better than the gravel lot, because when there's nothing going on, I can at least give you guys something to look at. When we were at the gravel lot the other night, it was like, I can't give you guys anything to look at, because there's nothing close by. American 737 sitting down there at the end of the runway. Pizza. Pizza sounds good. I might stop at RDU Gallery tonight on the way home. Get me a little Pizza Hut pizza. Early rotation for this one. That's surprising. Very surprising. That one climbing out pretty steep as well. That's not normal for the 737. Take a look at flight radar, see who is coming in. <coughs> Got a Southwest coming in, Southwest 2977 coming in from Fort Lauderdale on a Max 8, arriving in just one minute. Also out there, we got another Southwest coming in from, this is Southwest 493 coming in from St. Louis, arriving in just two minutes. Trail Stalker, what is up? I like the prop planes. Uh, ooh, here we go. Wouldn't be an episode of Carolina Aviation without this. <laughs> There's always blinky light. Wee woos. Yeah, we, uh, I like the props, especially the ATRs. But they got everything lit up. What the heck is happening? I need, I really need to get a scanner. I was talking to uh, Tony about that the other night. If I could keep my butt from being sick so much, I could get us another scanner. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it sounds like I'm sick again. I feel like I'm sick, but I I don't at the same time. It's been like this for the last two and a half months. I have a little bit of a head cold, runny nose, never really get sick, get sick for like three days, and then I'm okay. It just, uh. And then, of course, let's not talk about my foot, but...
And they're off. Never a dull moment. Everett with a $10 super chat. Sunset was very pretty. Great job. Thank you, Everett, as always, for your continued support. Got a whole lot of wee woos. Ooh, they're sending both of them out. Both of the big ones. Be interesting to see where they decide to go. I wonder if they're headed down to uh, UPS or FedEx down there. Of course, they're going to go and be hidden behind the building. All right, so next up we have our St. Louis flight, our southwest from St. Louis. I don't know, unless there was an issue with that ATR. can't tell where they went. Could be an emergency down there on UPS's ramp. Somebody could have got hurt. Focus! Thank you. Try and see where they went, but I don't. Yeah, so they're down there about UPS. Not sure what they're doing down there. Go back over here to Republic for a minute. We don't have any movement. I got a Delta a CRJ headed out. We don't even have anything coming in for the next. Twenty minutes, according to this. That twenty minutes will go by quick. Got another FedEx ATR coming in. Got several coming in from the north. Yeah, it's a little. It seems a little slow. Slower than what I thought it would be, being that we had 170 flights today. That's what we had on Sunday, and Sunday was a pretty decent day, I thought. I believe that's the one I actually had, Rail Stalker. If I'm not mistaken, it's the one that I had. And, uh, well, it jumped off the building, sadly. <laughs> it said, I'm done. I'm done. This director is, is mean to me. And then it just uh, well, it jumped off the building. <laughs> no, actually, the wind took it off the building. Man, another one? What are, what are you guys doing? Rolling everything out for some reason. Now they're headed to this side. Still one down there, though, somewhere. Interesting. Uh, 
Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on scanners lately. And, uh, like I did when I first lost that one. I was like, all right. And then I, I got in looking into other things for the show. And then, uh, I haven't looked again. I want one that w we can plug into the, um, into the soundboard so I can adjust its audio accordingly. Because how, how we lost the other one is it would, I set it in front of the microphone and a big gust of wind came and pushed it off the edge of the parking garage right into the road. If it would have landed in the grass, we would have been fine. But unfortunately, <laughs> it didn't work. It, it didn't. It landed right in the middle of the road. I was, I was very lucky that a car wasn't coming. Uh, Evan, Molly, Molly's not here yet. She might. I don't know that she will be here. I'm a little hesitant to message her because I know she's busy doing something with her kids at school. Now, I don't see any fire, so I don't know what's going on. We got the one one of the ones went up the hill to general aviation over there. Now I don't know I have no idea what's happening around here. Well, again, I need to get a get a scanner back. Another scanner. One of these days. We'll get another one. Cause I really enjoy having the radio myself. I like to be able to hear what's happening too. So it's not just you guys missing out on the radio, it's me too. Although depending on how we set it up, I may not be able to hear it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I need to get another soundboard so we can plug in three or four different items and where I can actually hear what's happening. Man, it feels so good out here this evening. I'm just enjoying standing here. Yeah, the one that fell, like, I didn't even get it. Like, by the time I ended the show after it fell, somebody had already stopped and picked it up. I was like, dang it. Because <laughs> I looked for it. I was like, man, somebody done took my radio. They're both still on the opposite side of the terminal. So it's, pr it's probably just something, something happened at the terminal. Got a couple way out in the distance out there. One United, it looks like. Or is that JetBlue? JetBlue Airways coming in from JFK and an A220-300. Maybe we'll get that one here in a moment. It's not giving me any information here.
<laughs> oh, Brianna. So if you guys... <laughs> if you guys heard... If you guys heard that part, it was not me, I promise. It is the text message sound that I have set for Brianna. So anytime Brianna texts me, I get a little squeeze, a little fart. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's okay, Everett. It, it, it is. It, it's Brianna. She, <laughs> she, she did. <laughs> ah. We had an entire conversation on the show one day about this. Molly was here, and uh, <laughs> the um, Brianna kept texting, and Molly couldn't stop giggling. It was hilarious. <laughs> so now Brianna's just texting me to hear the fart, which is hilarious. <laughs> she just texted me. I heard it again. Oh my goodness. Have him meet indeed not. Oh man, that would be that would actually be really, really funny. But I don't think he's here. He might be watching in the background. What's up, Otis? Good evening. Sorry I missed your message. We're having too much fun while there's nothing going on. Brianna's making her presence known in the uh, most smelly way possible. With her flatulence. Oh, it's all good. You guys that you guys that um, lurk in the background are fantastic, just as fantastic. You you guys, no pressure to chat. You know that. No pressure to chat at all. I might have to change our Wi-Fi signal. Definitely before shows end. I'm monitoring my. Uh, my uh, usage, which is interesting. I don't know if it's actually gone up tonight since I upped the stuff on the software. I hope it hasn't, but we'll see. What did I miss? You guys are moving so fast. I apologize not talking. Sorry to hear that, Rail Stalker. Or right, my condolences, sir. I know what that's like. The um, as my as you guys, many of you guys know, my stepfather passed away back in February. So I know how hard it is to lose someone. What was that? My phone never makes that noise. a weird one there. All right, JetBlue is just now four minutes out. Arriving first is a Delta connection coming in from Cincinnati. It is in, operated by Endeavor Air arriving right now. As a matter of fact, I think, nope, that's a departure. Who is that? Oh, it was another Delta connection. Flight radar, you lied to me. 
That plane is a lot further out than you said it was. <laughs> I'm sure yes indeed he's watching, but he might be doing something else. He might be doing homework. He might be doing He might be doing any number of things. Again, it is a little slower than I thought it was gonna be this evening. What's what the deal is. Of course we are gonna stay for our M D eleven departure at 9.15 at least. Possibly, uh, we'll probably stay for the 777 departure since it was, unless it's past 10 o'clock, then we're not gonna, we're not gonna stay, stay for that one. Ninety nine likes. As long as you know what, as long as we make it to a hundred likes before shows in, I'm okay with that. Delta connection coming in from Cincinnati. Yep, departs at 10.30, that's what I figured. So it arrived like 40 minutes early. So we won't be catching the 777 departure, sadly. Delta Connection taking its sweet time getting off the runway here. All right, next up's JetBlue. Then we have another Delta Connection. It's gonna get busy here in just a minute. We've got one coming in from LAX. That one's Delta. Delta 684 arriving from LA in just five minutes. Departed four hours and 11 minutes ago. I did get the move on. Yeah, time for the Christmas lights, huh? I know you guys are talking about pizza, making me want pizza, and I might have to stop at RDU Gallery and get me a pizza. A little Pizza Hut pizza action. So good. I wouldn't mind Wayback, but man, Wayback Burger is so expensive. It cost me almost 20 bucks for a burger and a milkshake the last time I ate there. But it was every bit worth it, though. <laughs> it was delicious. 
We'll see what I'm in the, actually in the mood for when the time comes. There you go. Now you guys have, have the information. You know Molly's going to be here shortly. <laughs> ah, hey, Molly, what's up? Coming over here, A220. Uh-oh. What am I hearing? Is that a truck? Focus. Focus on the plane. <laughs> Not at all, Molly. Not at all. Nope. Give me a minute, you guys. Enjoy the eight to twenty.
All right. Hopefully I'm better now. All right. There's... Where are you at? Come on. There's our Delta from LAX. I believe. Yeah. As they hook up the A220 to the tug to pulling the rest of the way in. <coughs> Goodness gracious. All right. You guys just enjoy the planes for a minute. I'm, I'm struggling here. Hold on. All right, maybe, maybe now I'm better. <coughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Smell in the air, it doesn't even, you know, of course, at the airport, but the, you know, I was mentioning the smoke earlier. Now, it, now you can smell it, and it smells like a forest fire. Growing up in the mountains, they had a lot of them, so I'm like, mm, yeah, I know exactly what that smells like. That's exactly what I'm smelling right now. You're welcome, Pip. Glad I could be here again today on this beautiful 80 degree Thursday. It feels so nice outside. I love being outside at night, <coughs> especially when it's nice and warm like it is this evening. I could hang out out here all night, for sure. My f my foot's doing okay. It is um. It is still swollen. It is still bothering me, and I pushed myself to the 
not to the max limit yesterday, but I pushed myself really, really hard at work because we were so busy. And uh, it, it's bothered me all day. I'm standing up here doing the flamingo, trying to keep as much weight off of it as possible. The only problem with doing that is it causes my other foot to hurt, but standing on one foot all day. I need to pull out my, my chair, but and sit down while there's nothing going on. Just to keep as much weight off of it as possible. Alright, our one from LA. Just chilling over here waiting on a gate, looks like. And Tuesday Tuesday evening when we did our show down at the uh, the gravel lot, I sat the whole time because I was in the perfect position where I could sit other than when we had like Southwest or anything coming in on two three left I was able to sit on the back of my car the entire time so it was kind of nice <clears throat> tonight no such luck <laughs> and I really kind of wish I would have brought my chair out now but I I didn't and I should have place was a madhouse without you, Molly. I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, who's coming in next? We switch. Alright, so we do have Blueprint coming in now. Touching down in just a minute. This is Jet Blue 783 coming in from Boston. One hour and 33 minutes of flight time for this E-190AR. Belly rubs. All right, let's go to the E-190. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get any, well, I don't know. I got a lot going on tomorrow and a lot going on on Saturday, so I don't know how much rest I'm actually going to get. I'm going to try, but I don't know. And, of course, we do have our Sunday show. I'm going to rest Saturday night, Sunday morning. And I think on Sunday I'm going to, uh, I'll, uh, I'll set up my chair on Sunday. So that when we don't have a whole lot going on, I can sit down. I can still chat with you guys. Got a Delta. <laughs> That's the one from L.A. <laughs> Speeding across in front of Blueprint here. Sadly, I don't think we're going to, unless it comes back here, I don't think we're going to get a good look at it. And I think it's going to go to the opposite side. I think it's going to be on the other side of the building there. Yep, there it goes. Making that 
hard turn. What are you doing? Okay, making a U-turn. Never mind. I thought it was turned into a gate. All right, Otis, have a good evening. We will see you on the next one. Yeah, CMOS and John were both here. The blueprint livery scares me. Still people. And baggage. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. I get it. <clears throat> Do still have Republic Airways. I really wish I could get, get a good shot of Lone Star. I wonder what I wonder if I could stay after the show and, and get a good picture of Lone Star sitting over there ball by its lonesome. It's weird that we have a special staying overnight with us. Mo something must have happened to it. Must have broke down. See you, Colin. Have a good night. See you again on Sunday. Again, slow again. Really, again, I thought we were going to be a little busier than this. <laughs> lies. All lies. might try it. I don't know. It's a lot for me to walk the equipment to the other side of the parking garage, though. I mean, I could put it in the car and try and find a spot over there, but we'll see. I did get kind of a picture of it. I sent it to uh, the some of the team here. I was like, hey, look who's here. That's why Tony was here. <laughs> Tony thought it was leaving. I was like, nope, sorry, buddy. Just stationary for the evening. You know, Molly, I think that bat jerky had COVID because you can, I have to mute the mic for a minute because I've got a cough. So, you know, no more bat jerky for me. <laughs> I didn't touch it. I left that thing laying on the floor cleaning crew can handle it. They can sweep it up. They can sweep it outside. I don't care what they do with it. I was not about to touch that bat or what was left of said bat. It's the first time I've seen or had a bat fall out of a car. I've had birds. I've had frogs. I've had Well, those two. I had a live cat once. That was great. We were chasing that cat. That cat was angry. We were chasing that cat all over the shop. <laughs> uh, let's see. What other? Oh, we've had a we had a uh, a groundhog in an engine bay one time. <laughs> my team leader. So they they open the hood, and my team leader's like holding the hood hood up and he looks down and all of a sudden he just drops the hood and it's like get that car out of here and the my shop foreman's opening the doors just in case <laughs> and so they they set the car out on what we have we have a ramp instead of a parking lot behind the shop and they set the car out there and they're like 
they got the hood up and they're like trying to coax it out it was a big old groundhog probably weighed about 10 12 pounds i was like man how did you make it from wherever this customer came from all the way here without getting cooked It did. It did see its shadow. Middle of the day. It was a beautiful sunny day. It was it was insane. It was like, what? That thing <laughs> my my team leader was like, get that car out of here. <laughs> oh man. So we we get we see all kinds of stuff. Weird stuff, too, boy. You'd be surprised at some of the stuff we see. From personal belongings to, to animals to things people have hit to uh, damaged vehicles. Now that's one thing I haven't encountered is snakes, but I have found snake skins in cars, but never actually a snake, thank goodness. Oh, we absolutely could re write a book. I have a disgusting story. I had to change a headliner out because a um, mouse decided to have babies in the headliner and they died. Needless to say, I was not happy about getting that car because I got in it. It was a summer afternoon, and I almost barfed everywhere. It was disgusting. The smell was atrocious. But I ended up changing that headliner out. I had to take the door off to get that headliner out of that car. It's amazing the kind of stuff you see in the, in, in the automotive industry, that's for sure. All right, next up we have Southwest Airlines for flight si 468 uh, can't talk. coming in from BWI. B -W -I. 47 minutes of flight time for this 737-8. almost had to double check to make sure. That was it. Yeah, it was uh, It was not a good day. I did not enjoy working on that car. I was actually kind of mad. Had one of our loaner vehicles come in with bullet holes in it. It was totaled. They crashed it, had bullet holes in it, and we're like, don't even want to know what happened to this car. Needless to say, the customer that had the vehicle was banned from the dealership because he destroyed one of our cars. So, I'm telling you, it's amazing. You'd be surprised at some of the stuff you see, man. <laughs> like a lot of weird stuff. Snakes don't bother me, but I just haven't seen one in a car. Now, I don't know about that, Matt, man. My car's pretty dirty right now. Granted, I have been sick. <clears throat> and it's been cold. I'm like, I need to pull it into the 
into the shop and clean it out. And I'm like, eh, no, never mind. My trunk is full of stuff, but that's all, that's all show-related stuff in the trunk of my car. And of course it got dirty while I was sick because it sat in my yard and, the, and it rained the entire week. So the backsplash on, from the ground got all over my car. I'm a little embarrassed to be driving my car actually because it's so dirty on the outside. I, I might take and try and wash it sometime this weekend if I have time. I have I have an, a big event on, on Saturday. I'm going to my niece's birthday party. And tomorrow night I'm going to help out with that. So I'll be fairly busy. Just collecting a dead prairie dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no thank you. Well, you know, uh, I could get even worse with the uh, people that have hit deer and stuff. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. As you guys know, we were we were expecting to drop service there for a minute as I ran out of data on the Wi-Fi hotspot. So that is no good for the rest of the month. Oh, well, for the next five days, I think. I've got to make an adjustment here to my plugs so I can plug my cell phone in now. So that means I got an in-flight radar. back in everybody <laughs> but again I have seen like you talk about nasty people that uh, have damaged their car running over deer already dead deer that's disgusting then you've got well I won't go into detail but let's just say some of it is stuck to the ex hot exhaust it just you don't know very very disgusting job sometimes Again, apologies. Glad you guys are coming back in slowly. I knew that was going to happen. I just wasn't sure exactly when that was going to happen. This is true. At least it's not moose. We have one. We have a. So, talking about incredible things, I, we have one at work now. Um. Really makes you like stop and think, but I drive by the by the body shop, and uh, there's a car sitting up there that's been wrecked, and the engine is sitting in front of it. And apparently, it's an employee of the company, and they had a crash uh, last week. They were traveling to one of our stores in Maryland and ran off I-95. Of 
both occupants did survive, but one is in ICU. It's amazing, like I said, it's amazing the kind of things you see. Breeze 8220 over there. No, oh, stop talking about stop talking about pizza. Y'all are killing me. Yeah, ham and pine. I wish I could get a ham and pineapple pizza from the gallery. Darn it. I do love a Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> Everybody else might be like, pineapple on pizza? And you know what? If you've never tried it, be quiet. <laughs> Unless you absolutely just don't like pineapple, then I get it. Or are allergic to pineapple. But pineapple on pizza belongs. That's my view on it. You cannot sway me any other way. It is delicious, especially with some good ham. Throw on a little onion. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. That's good pizza. I mean, I'll eat any kind of pizza as long as it's not cheese. Cheese is a little too boring for me. I like flavor. <laughs> Yep, nope, I, I gotta have flavor. I gotta have, I don't even like black olives, but I love black olives on my pizza. I also like it in my pasta salad too. But to sit and eat black olives by themselves, absolutely not. They just have this weird, mushy, gritty texture, and they just, I don't know, I don't like the way they taste. But you put them in something, or put them on a pizza, bake them, I'm okay with that. Never had anchovies on my pizza either. Another good pizza is a barbecue chicken pizza. I don't know if you guys have had that from Papa John's. That's delicious too. I'm more of a Pizza Hut kind of guy myself because I like their crust. The only time I ever eat Pizza Hut is when I'm over here and go to the gallery. Other than that, really don't get Pizza Hut that often. I don't even think I have one cl near my house.
Delta 757 heading back to Atlanta. Great sounding departure here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of like chew super chewy or doughy crust, but I don't like it like rock hard crunchy either. I like a nice, perfect crust, like Pizza Hut. with the FedEx 767 or if we're going to just end with the MD-11. We'll see. A319. Here I see an A220. I was about to say, I hear an A220. Nope, now I see one. <laughs> All right, we'll wait for that one to exit over here on this side. This is very true, Evan. I am. I'm flamingoing it. Every opportunity I get, every time I stop the camera, I'm standing here looking like a fool, like a flamingo. But I'm smart. I'm keep my foot up. I'm trying to keep as much weight off it, weight off of it as I can. I should have put down one of my mats to help. I have these, like, thick foam mats that I carry around in the car too to put on the con put down on the concrete. I keep forgetting though.
Yeah, it's next Sunday, isn't it? The 21st. Now, that was actually somebody driving by honking. I don't know if there's somebody who watches the show or not. Could be. That's why that was so loud. They were actually driving by. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they were somebody who watches the show. They were. Thank you for the for the honk if you're watching the show. Oh my goodness. Good thing Brianna's not here because her favorite car is down below us. I just happened to <laughs> take a peek as I was rest as I'm resting my foot. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> not gonna happen, hashtag. Or hashtag not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not even an expensive car. Still not gonna happen, though. Or ugly. Ugly. Unless it's the N. That's the only way I'll ever buy a Kona. Is if it's the N. The N looks decent. <laughs> My foot's doing better. It, it's a little sore. I <clears throat> so I pushed pushed myself pretty close to the limit yesterday. I did a lot of work. A lot of cars yesterday. I probably did close to 15, 16,000 steps yesterday. And uh, my foot's bothered me most of the day today. Right now it's not bothering me. And that's cause, partially because I'm trying to keep keep it up and elevated behind me at the moment so oh, okay 21st of April so but yes that today was uh, <coughs> today was a little more interesting We've just been super busy at work. I already have two cars to start my day tomorrow. Yep, that's all up to you, Molly. Anytime, you know that. Anytime you want to come join me, bring it on. You know that. You guys are always welcome. All you got to do is pick a date and just show up. That's all you got to do. <laughs> That's what Tony did. Tony was here earlier, the beginning of the show, towards the beginning of the show. We were about 30, 40 minutes into the show, and he, sh he popped in. So that's all you got to do, just show up. Thank you, Evan. I will look at that as soon as we end the show. There's quite a few planes sitting out there waiting to depart, but I do, f I do think we're going to end with the MD-11, though. So, like I said, it's a lot slower than I thought it was going to be. I 
Thank you for that update, Brian Lloyd. Molly with a $20 super chat. Parking fund. Awesome show, Brian, as always. Thank you so much, Molly. Greatly appreciated, you guys, and your great support. Always greatly appreciated. You guys do such a fantastic job. Agreed, Matt Man. Agreed. I don't understand why they don't come in here with their with their lights on. It's always here. Like when we go to Charlotte, when we were in Charlotte and it was a little dark, you could still see them. When we go to Dulles, they had they, everybody had them on. It's only here that they don't <laughs> they don't have their lights on. It drives me nuts. really dumb makes it <laughs> where I have no idea who's coming in No, you're here in the A300. And he explored it. They sound very, very similar, but <coughs> the A300s are a, a little bit deeper sounding. Americans put one of theirs to bed. Speaking of A220s, here we go. JetBlue's A220 getting ready to depart.
A220 clear in the fire escape. May not have been a rocket launch, but uh, pretty close. Yeah, they did. They have two of them. They have two A220s here now. Right now. Well, they did. That one left. But, and then we got the one right in front of it. Down here. And then we have Breeze has one here too, I believe. Right now. It is a lot slower than I thought. Yeah, that probably won't happen. Sorry, I'm choking again. Oh, goodness. All right. There is absolutely no movement. What is going on, RDU? You're killing me here. A couple more minutes left in today's show. About 15 minutes. We're going to have the... MD-11 departure. That's funny. My uh, software updates faster than YouTube. <laughs> On how many people are watching. Oh, man.
at 75 getting a departure. Sorry, I missed it. I trying not to choke to death over here. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it's the, the pollen or what, but I'm struggling to, to get this going, whatever it is. is lit up. All planes are girls to me. Big girls. <laughs> Unless you're talking about the king. A380. <laughs> I always say she. I don't know. I don't know why. Thank you, Brian Lloyd, by the way. Glad you enjoyed tonight's show. I'm glad everybody's enjoying the show. Thank you guys again so much for being here, of course. It's a little slower than I thought. I can fly to take that. <laughs> no, I'm not quite dying. But uh, I am struggling with, this, with a little cough this evening. It's weird. <laughs> Matt, man. Sorry, I'm doing some. I'm also doing something. I'm trying not to die, and I'm also doing something behind the scenes. So forgive me. Yep, bells. Hey, we've been staring at this plane with no movement forever. There it is. I don't know if it's going out or if they're going to put it to bed. If it's going to stay the night. Not exactly sure what they're doing with that one. I don't I didn't even hear those bells either. But that is 18. I can't remember if it's 18 or 16. I can't hear. No, no, it isn't. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Got another arrival. Yeah, Tony. Tony wanted us to to hang out for some camera practice this weekend too, but unfortunately, in that in that aspect, I won't be able to unless it's like early Sunday. Sunday morning or whatnot, but because um, Saturday again is my niece's birthday. I 
All right, so what are you guys doing with this? Are you moving? Scheduled for 9.09. Yeah, won't be long. You better not be dying. Interesting. More stuff. Yeah, we may stay for the uh, for the Republic departure. We'll see. I don't think Envoy does, no. They're all operated by Delta. It'll be back. It's moving. I can see it moving right now. It'll be back on radar in just a minute. It's making its way down to the end of the runway. Yeah, a little bit of a three for one. Republic, American, and Delta all in the same shot there. So you guys are seeing the last plane of the show right here. We'll end with this one. As But we do have, again, we do still have the MD-11 departure in just a couple of minutes. Like I said, it is moving. It's making its way to the end of the runway, whether it's on flight radar or not. This doesn't mess with our show, but I need to do something really fast. <laughs> yeah, that messed with it. Hold on, we'll be back in a second. Maybe. Something happened to my phone. No, I got good coverage. See, I made a mistake. I did something on my phone and I shouldn't. Yep, give it a second. Yeah. <sighs> I made the mistake of messing with YouTube. And it made our service go, N no, you're not.
Although I don't know what is t what is taking the um, the MD11 so long. Well, I'm glad the sound is a lot better. I've made some drastic changes, Brian, to the software um, overnight. I made some changes uh, the other night because I was not. You guys know how much I'm not happy with the sound, but I currently can't. I need to do some more research for one, but I can't get any new sound equipment at the moment. Um, <coughs> So I went in and I was like, well, maybe there's a problem with the, um, with the software that I'm using. And what I did is I went in and I just cranked the bit rates on everything up. I cranked up the streaming bit rate 5,000 5, more. So hopefully the stream looks even better because after Saturday's show, I went home and I watched and, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm really not happy with the way this looked. Tony was like, oh, everything looks fantastic. It looked great. I'm like, mm, not on my TV it didn't. Not like I'm looking for 4K quality because I can't get 4K quality out here streaming the way I am. But it could look better in my opinion. I'm always striving for better. I always want better. I want to be, without being 4K, I still want to be the best you know I want to be better than the big guys just because I can because I'm the small guy and I want to be better than them <laughs> all right I'm gonna mute you guys enjoy the sounds of the MD 11 departure Airways, and then we are done for the evening. Thank you, UPS MD 11. Amazing sounding departure, as always. Really gonna miss that bird when it's gone. But hopefully, hopefully everything looked a whole lot better tonight than today. Hopefully everything was clean and crisp and, you know, really, really, really good. Because I turned the bit rate up. I could probably turn it up a little bit more, but I don't know if turning the bit rate up consumes more of our data. If it does, then we're in trouble. <laughs> we won't make it to the end of the end of each month or the middle of each month I should say on just two uh, two Wi-Fi plans might have to get Molly to come out here and sponsor a couple of Sunday shows <laughs> all right Republic Airways this one here is the last plane of tonight's show Focus, focus, thank you. It's almost time for you to go back in the box, so calm down.
she is wheels up. Sure, the A220 is not going anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I will do my best. So, Molly, do you have uh, do you have hotspot on your phone? By the way, just just checking if you want to come sponsor a couple Sunday shows. You know. <laughs> All right, I'll give you guys one more departure. Hold on. Yeah. Southwest could be a turn and burn. You are very welcome, everybody. Glad I could be here. Glad to be back at least two days a week, two, three days a week. Today makes day number three. You guys excited? I'm excited. Airport traffic's picked up. Everything's just better. No? I feel like everything's better. Bells. <laughs> Heard that one this time. That's what I get for working in a loud shop. I don't hear very good. Man, that Southwest is loud. Thank you guys again for being here. I really appreciate it. Again. It is almost springtime. What is today's date? 13th? 14th? When is the first day of spring? Next Tuesday? Next Wednesday? It's almost springtime, everybody. So hopefully we'll be here for more shows. Or be here again three days a week, depending. That's what I'm aiming for anyway, three days a week. So, but again, thank you guys for being here. Much appreciated. Thank you to all my moderators, channel members. You guys are fantastic. Remember, go over, if you haven't done so already, go over, check out the Facebook page. Molly can link that in the, in the chat really fast before we end. Make sure, go follow us over on our Facebook page and also go follow me on Instagram. I don't post a whole lot on either one of those platforms, but the Facebook page is primarily to give you guys more information on in case show changes, show uh, date changes, and I will post more over there as time comes on. Some videos, some photos as I get those. Again, I do have a lot of pictures that I can post. I just haven't downloaded them and started posting photos for you guys yet um, but yeah make sure you guys go over and check out our Facebook page for any and all updates on shows and show happenings just in case I can give you guys a little bit of an easier update than doing it via YouTube but I am going to say, it feels good to be back. I hope you guys, I hope you guys are excited. I'm ready for the airport to be a little bit busier than tonight, but it is what it is. I mean, I'm just glad to be here, give you guys the planes, hang out with you guys, chat with you guys. It's always a blast. It's always fun. Created a great community here. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here, honestly. So thank you guys again very much for your continued support and for being here. Holy cow. Hold on. Wait a minute. 
One more. One more. One more. One more. The only Frontier flight we've had all day. All show. <laughs> the only one. And it's the Roadrunner again. Image Seeker, good evening. Welcome in as you catch us e ending the show. Our one and only Frontier flight today. Weird. That's it. Thank you guys again for being here. Very much appreciate it. Until Sunday. Speaking of sp speaking of Sundays, before we go, before we end. So when summertime comes rolls around, weather gets better. I know we're on the East Coast. But, would you guys get up early and watch a show on Sunday? I don't typically do early mornings because I know everybody either has church or they're not up, you know, sleeping in, this, that, and the other. But, when you get here early on Sundays, the departures are fantastic. You get a ton of departures. And I'm not saying I'm going to do it now because of the fact that traffic is still low. But would you guys be up to doing, like, an early morning show and I mean early like 6 a.m. like sunrise show like 6 a.m. Molly I'm not saying you have to be here and have to watch but would you guys be interested in a sunrise show Because a, a Carolina sunset's fantastic, but a Carolina sunrise is just as good. I do enjoy catching a good sunrise from up here. Plus, yeah, I, I'm the same. I'm a sleepyhead too. I like to stay in bed on Sundays, especially. But uh, it's just it's just a thought because. Over the summer last year, I was here quite a bit early. Five, I would get here at 5 a.m. And i uh, watch the sun come up about 6. Beautiful. And then, of course, traffic just out of here. Everybody, the airport's bustling. Everybody's, you know, trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. So, anyway. Again, thank you guys for joining us tonight. That is going to do it for us. Thank the moderators, channel members, everybody who supports the channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys again. Can't thank you guys enough, honestly. You guys make this channel good what it is. So we will see you on Sunday. <laughs>